Oh crikey, it's that time again. Buckle up, because I'm about to deliver another dose of Destiny News. So then, can you feel a spooky chill in the air? That's right, Halloween is upon us, and to celebrate, Bungie's preparing the tower for another Festival of the Lost. But this time, there's a dark little twist. And if that's not enough to whet your ghoulish appetites, Bungie's also dropping not one, but two game updates in October. So then, without further ado, let's effing well do this. So then, Festival of the Lost finally returns and Bungie teased a few more details in their latest blog post. Here's what the studio said. Welcome to October. This month will be home to another Festival of the Lost. It begins on October 16th, 2018 with a celebration of Lost Heroes and a new challenge to tackle. It includes a costume party and you're all invited. It ends with a quest to solve a murder. Now that's some Sherlock Holmes shit right there. Watson, fetch me my effing pipe. And check it out, Bungie also posted this festival image. So then, we finally have a date. Tuesday October 16th. We'll be celebrating Lost Heroes and we'll get to dress up. It is Halloween after all, so expect unique festival armor, spooky new emotes, Halloween easter eggs, and of course, a few surprises. But perhaps most interesting of all, the festival ends with a quest to solve a murder. The question is, who's gonna be the victim? Consider me intrigued. And we only have to wait until next week for a full reveal of what Bungie has planned for this event. And yes, I'll be sure to have a video for you guys breaking it all down. The game is afoot. Now, alongside Festival of the Lost, we're also getting a game update on October 16th. Here's some of what's being added. The ability to hover over lost sectors to see their name once you've actually looted them. Now this will make all those bounties in which you have to complete a lost sector far easier to locate. Players will be able to track up to three pursuits instead of one. The meme worthy edge transit will drop less frequently because Bungie's adding other legendary weapons to the loot pool so yeah you may want to grind for another 369 edge transits before they become super rare. That's obviously sarcasm. Plus transmat effects will be added to your collections under the flare category, not to mention a few other minor quality of life improvements. So yeah, October 16th, Festival of the Lost, plus a game update. Nice. Plus, there's going to be a 15% scout rifle damage buff for PvE. Now, Bungie forgot to include this in the original blog post, so that's why it's in tweet form here. Now, like I said earlier, we're getting another game update in October. This time, it's on the 30th, so let's have a look and see what Bungie has planned for us. Now, you may be thinking, why is more console showing a tentacle infested anus in his video? Surely, that's against YouTube's terms of service. Fret not, this is not an anus, it's the Ascendant Primeval Servitor. You know, the thing you need to kill in order to kick off the exotic malfeasance quest. Now, Bungie's been inundated with player feedback concerning the spawn rate of this floating anus. Basically, it's rarer than a more console video that's under 10 minutes, and so Bungie's increasing the spawn rate. <laughs> Lol. Now, because Bungie's increasing the spawn rate of the Ascendant Primeval Servitor, the studio decided to also tweak the drop rates of the Gambit, Ship, and Sparrow. Now, these vanity items that you see here were guaranteed to to drop from the anus boss on the second and third time you killed it. Well, that's not the case anymore. They now only have a chance to drop. They are not guaranteed, which is fair play, I guess. Now, if you want to see these gambit drops in more detail, go check out Loki's video in the description box below. Next up, in an attempt to lessen the dominance of Sleeper Simulant in Gambit, Bungie will be doing two things. Firstly, slightly decreasing this weapon's aim assist, and secondly, decreasing the amount of sleeper shots you get when you collect power ammo. You now only get two shots instead of four. Sword ammo, however, will be increased from six to twelve, when you collect power ammo. Other changes to Gambit include penalties for players who consistently drop out of games, changes to Gambit bounties, and how frequently you earn rewards. Okay then, so you've just heard the Gambit changes coming to Destiny October 30th. Well, there's also a whole list of other improvements in this second October update. Bungie will be doing the following. Slightly increasing sword and fusion rifle damage in PvE, making Malfeasance a more effective weapon in Gambit and PvE. I mean, it's just a little bit underwhelming at the moment. Adjusting the visibility of the Titan's banner shield, making it easier for a place to see through it. Adding masterwork cores as rewards for specific spider wanted bounties and scrapper bounties which is a welcome addition indeed. Reducing the time it takes to delete shaders from your inventory and the chance for a nightfall unique reward to drop will increase each time a nightfall is completed without a unique drop. Plus exotic loot drops will be adjusted to help reduce the number of duplicate items. Now you may still receive duplicates but you'll be more likely to get a forsaken exotic. So what other news nuggets did Bungie drop? Well the studio confirmed that there will be no prestige mode for the last wish raid. According to Bungie, here's why. With the goals to create a more varied and rewarding experience across the end game of Destiny, we had to make a series of difficult choices. One of these choices was that we would not be creating multiple difficulties for Last Wish. Instead, Forsaken would focus on making 
making sure the single difficulty mode of Last Wish was highly rewarding and that there were plenty of unique activities to participate in for great rewards across the entire end game. Once this decision was made, we focused on creating one definitive version of Last Wish with no qualifiers attached to it. We wanted to create an experience that offered the truest forms of every encounter from day one and offered some of the most powerful rewards in the game to anyone who could succeed. So yeah, no prestige mode or any other kind of mode for that matter for the Last Wish raid. However, there will be a new raid layer in the December Black Armory DLC and yes, you'll need to purchase the annual pass to play this, it won't be free. Next up, Bungie revealed exactly how you level up your Nightfall rank with Zavala. As you can see, I'm only rank 3. So then, every time you complete a different Nightfall strike with a score of 100,000 points or over, you'll rank up. It's as simple as that. So for players to achieve the maximum Nightfall rank of 14 and earn Zavala's Toil and Trouble shotgun, players will need to hit the 100,000 point bonus threshold in all 14 Nightfall strikes. Next up, the 13th wish has been discovered. Once activated, this wish triggers Petra's Rum. If any player dies at any point in the raid, the whole fire team wipes and is sent back to orbit where they'll need to start again from scratch. Ouch. Now successfully completing the run awards this Petra's Run Triumph, which is needed if you want to unlock the Riven's Bane title. So yeah, I think I can safely kiss that title goodbye. F me. Now guys, check it out. Something I haven't done in absolutely ages. A one-handed box opening video. Now these three packages arrived for me about a month ago, but I've not had the time to open them because I was grinding the hell out of Forsaken. Well, now things are a little less crazy. I'm going to open all three packages all at once just for you guys. I have no idea what's inside any of them and I have been gagging to find out. So we're going to do that right now and we're going to start with this small one. Okay then, so as you can see, I've already slit the package open for ease of access. I don't know what's inside, I've not looked yet. I want to do that together. So let's see what's inside this thing. Okay, it's another package. It's another effing package. Let's uh, let's delve into this. Okay, so I've torn this package open now so that we can see the contents. Let's have a little look with this one-handed box opening video. We have a black package. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there is. It looks like there's something else. Let me just grab that and see what the F it is. It's always awkward doing it one-handed. Let's see what this thing is. It is a postcard, a forsaken postcard. We've got Prince Emo on the back. More console. Your adventure as a guardian in Destiny 2 have been legendary. Your adventures have been legendary. Destiny 2 career statistics. Oh my god. All right. Six raid clears. <laughs> 15,000 crucible kills, 5,800 super kills, 28 exotics acquired, and my favourite faction is apparently new monarchy. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. We hope to see you in the lawless frontier of the Tangled Shore to build on this foundation. Wow, so this must have come at the beginning of the Forsaken launch. Oh, this is awesome, and it's kind of like, like it's got your career stats on it. That's really cool. I really, really like that. Thank you, Bungie. That must have come from Bungie. Thank you. Okay, what's inside this? Um, can I... Okay, it's, or right, okay, I'm gonna have to do a bit of editing and get this open. Okay, I've slit open the seal, and now we're gonna see what's inside. We've got some packaging. We have got, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, it's the, it's Cade's Ace of Spades, a miniature replica. That's so cool, look at the detail on that. That is awesome, and uh, what's this? Uh, oh right, okay, it looks like a stand. Oh wow, okay. Ace of spades, yeah, let's let's pop that in the stand. Oh, that's so cool. I'm completely geeking out at the moment. Let me just uh, do that, let's pop that in. And uh, there we go, there we go. We've got the ace of spades. That probably actually goes around the other way, but I'm doing a one-handed box open opening video, so it's always awkward to do things with one hand, but let's do this correct. Let's get this, let's get the job done. Here we go. Ace of Spades miniature replica. That is, that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, I, I'm loving that. That will actually go alongside my Cade statue nicely. Let's put them together. There we go, Cade. You have finally been reunited with your Ace of Spades, even though it's actually as big as you. Right, let's move on. Okay then, so let's see what's in the second package. Again, I've made a slit just for ease of access. And let's see what's inside. We have what looks like another package. It's a nondescript brown package. Okay, let's uh, let's get into this. Okay, then, as you can see, there's a black box within the brown packaging. So let's just rip the rest of that off. 
and hopefully we can actually take the lid off. <laughs> I'm actually super excited. If this is as cool as the first thing, I will be such a lucky boy. Okay, let's let's open this up. Here we go. Here we go. Main reveal. Booyaka! <laughs> oh my dear God! Is that... That is what I think it is. This is Cade. <laughs> this is Cade 6 with a chicken. <laughs> with an effing chicken. I told you I'd be back, you miserable bastard. Oh my god. Let's see what it says. To do nothing would be cowardice. Oh my god. For Cade. Hashtag for Cade. So it's a Cade plushie covered in this wrap with a goddamn chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Now, guys, I actually upset a lot of you in my last video for saying I was glad Cade 6 was dead. Now, you got to understand, me and Cade go back a hell of a long way. He may be a Saki Robo douche, but he's my Saki Robo douche, and he now lives right here on my desk. Look at him, the cute little bastard. Oh, my God, look, you can even look at his little cloak and his bottom. All right, he's getting hugs later on. Beautiful. Let's move on to the next package. That is awesome. Okay, so guys, how on earth is the next package going to top these really beautiful little gifts? So yeah, thank you Bungie for sending those. Now let's have a look and see what's inside this package. I've opened it up again for ease. Let's just pull it out. I saw it was a blue, blue box, but I don't know. It's right. Hello. Now this, right, this is from my a sponsor, a razor. A razor sends me goods now and again. They they sponsor my channel. Thank big massive shout out to Razor. Thank you so much. Um check it out. It's the it's the Razor Rage U Ultimate PS4 controller. And I gotta say, I'm I I'm loving this. It, this looks gorgeous. It's got like the chroma lighting. Let's have a little look on the back. Uh interchangeable thumbsticks, D-pads, and quick control panel. Um, th these things are so cool. I've actually got an Xbox version of this and I use it all the time when I play with my Xbox This is now going to be my default controller Okay then guys, so as you can see here it is outside of its box and the controller actually comes inside this really nice clamshell case Let's flip it open and have a little look at the contents. Obviously, we've got the controller now I use my Xbox version of this all the time It's my default Xbox controller and this will now become my default PlayStation 4 controller It's got a really nice heft to it really nice design. I absolutely adore this these things and as you can see it also comes with an interchangeable d-pad and an interchangeable well two thumbsticks as well so I've got to say a huge thanks to Razer for sending this over for sponsoring my channel and I'll be linking this in the description box below if you want to check this out for yourself if you want to buy it for yourself there'll be a link in the description box below like I said and yeah I'm just uh very thankful to Razor for sending this over. Thank you guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a cheeky thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny news, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you want to watch more content from me right now, click the on-screen image. Thanks again and we'll speak again very soon, my friends.